Even at first sight, it's obvious the Grand Coupe is part of the 3 and 4 series family. Indeed, from the front grille, to as far back as the windscreen pillar, the Grand Coupe is identical to the Coupe. Beyond that, BMW obsessives will spot the Grand Coupe's front doors are a little smaller than the Coupe's to allow room for the rear doors. And, the Grand Coupe's rear roofline is a little higher to create more room for rear seat passengers while the rear end is a hatchback. Trouble is, to our eyes, it looks more like the 3 Series saloon in profile than a genuine coupe, and as a result isn't perhaps as distinctive a model as it could be. It's certainly a smart car, though with alloy wheels and LED headlights standard across the range while Sport and M Sport models get a little more bling than the cheaper SE trimmed cars, including standard metallic paint on some of the most powerful cars. Step inside, and it's all familiar fare from the 3 and 4 series ranges, but that's no bad thing. The classy materials, finished with metal and high gloss black details, along with the deftly damped switches, give the interior a real sense of sophistication, and the simple to use iDrive infotainment system lends a high tech feel as well. You can add to this further still by specifying the optional fully digital dashboard. Everything is well built, too and other than the pedals, which are slightly offset to the right, there are no complaints about the driving position, with plenty of adjustment on the seat and steering wheel. If there is a criticism, it's that BMW takes second place to Audi for outright cabin quality these days.